Welcome back to Trading 360. It's time for the disruptors. George Sillis is with us, senior markets correspondent here, talking about Square, Block, Wedbush, and BTIG, both upgrading this name. It's, it's had a pretty good run. It's not at the highs. What is that, 69 instead of 89? But uh, tell me a little bit about your thoughts on what's been going on with this name. Well, I think, yeah, first, I mean, you look at the price action, uh, there was a big boost uh, from the earnings back in early November. Then you throw in Bitcoin uh, going into the end of last year and you throw in block. And there's also, I think, that element to what we're seeing price action wise. But you're right. It, it did effectively go nearly double from about forty one dollars to eighty uh, to the end of the year in December of uh, twenty three. But then it's pulled back a little bit, but it's starting to look a little constructive now. Uh, based upon the uh, the earnings estimates on a forward basis for uh, the company as a whole. And if you look at a couple analysts today, uh, there's some upgrades. BTIG, they actually moved their uh, their target to the, of the stock to $85. At the same time, Wedbush's analysts increased their target to 90 from 70. They actually moved their, their uh, rating on the stock from neutral to buy. And if you go back to, to last quarter when they reported earnings early November, there was a huge boom to uh, to operating margins based upon some cost reduction reductions in expense management. And this is essentially what Wedbush is looking at as well uh, on a forward basis, considering there's a, a lot of integration capabilities between the merchant services, which is essentially about a third of the revenue for Square or Block, the traditional merchant services, alongside the cash app, which is very close to 60 percent of total sales. Uh, as well from a consumer standpoint. So they're actually looking at better operating metrics, which effectively will trickle down to uh, net profit margins for the business if they can integrate some of their technologies uh, going uh, going together. Now, also, if you look at the, uh, the gross uh, purchasing volume last quarter, it was higher by 17% year over year. Sales are actually growing respectively in the mid uh, single digits and the estimates for earnings when I actually looked at it relative to last quarter, the full year 24's earnings were adjusted from about $2.43 to over $3. And that really puts the 24 multiple at around 22 times earnings. So one could consider the call is also based on valuation. Uh, and if they do increase coming up uh, with earnings on the 22nd of the month of February, by just a fraction or a small percentage, that could also uh, boost the stock price from there. All right. So with that, um, tell us about your thoughts on an example trade for this one. Yeah, so we got to keep in mind that earnings are coming out for uh, the stock on the 22nd, and there's quite a bit of volatility overall in the markets, Nicole. But I think at the end of the day, uh, the pullback is, uh, is a pretty nice position for uh, long traders. Plus, like I said, the earnings estimates have been rising. Uh, so if they do have a slight beat, that could certainly push the stock higher. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to go and uh, put on a long call diagonal. It's a bullish trade, but we're essentially going to uh, sell the February weekly uh, out of the money $74 uh, option. And we're going to use the proceeds from that to buy a March monthly $65 in the money option. So the out of the money 74s will uh, expire uh, the week before earnings. Uh, and then, of course, they're helping that to finance the, uh, the $65 March calls. And so altogether, this would cost a trader about $6 a share or $600 a contract. So essentially, you know, the stock could trade up to about 74 in the next couple of weeks. And uh, if that happens, then the premium we receive on those um, February calls would expire worthless, to which time it would be basically an, un, an, an open profitability potential, assuming the stock hits 71 or higher, because that's your break even price by expiration in March, which is over 40 days. All right, George Sillis, thank you for that example trade there on Block as well. Our disruptor today, really appreciate it. Thank you, George.